Finally, after a four-year wait since the release of the Pi 4, Raspberry has recently made an announcement in late September about its latest board, the Raspberry Pi 5. What are the news? What is its power? What will you do more or less with her? Is the recall box compatible with this card? Can you continue to use your RGB dual and your RGB JAMA with? We exclusively disclose all the information and details about this brand new Raspberry Pi 5. Let's go. With a 64-bit quad-core ARM Cortex-A76 processor at 2.4 gigahertz, the Raspberry Pi 5 offers two three times the performance of the Raspberry Pi 4, which already had three, four times the performance of the Pi 3. The graphics part has been enhanced due to the Video Core 7 GPU with a clock speed of 800 megahertz. This theoretically enables dual 4K 60 FPS output and ensures a completely seamless office experience, which was not the case with the modest Raspberry Pi 4. But the biggest changes are often the ones we don't see. And in this, the Pi 5 has truly been redesigned from scratch and brings about a radical change in the performance and functionality of the devices. The combined USB bandwidth is increased by more than two times and the overall bandwidth is increased by more than three times, leading to significantly faster transfer speeds to external drives and other high-speed peripherals. And for the initial time, the Raspberry Pi 5 even includes a PCI Express 2.0 interface. The overall performance of micro SD cards has doubled thanks to the support of the high-speed SDR 104 mode. Therefore, it is expected that a Pi 5 will be able to boot in just a few seconds. On the characteristics side, Raspberry Pi 5 has BCM 2712 quad-core, 64-bit ARM Cortex, a 76 processor, clocked at 2.4 GHz, Video Core 7 GPU, supporting OpenGL ES 3.1 and Vulkan 1.2, Dual 4K 60fps HDMI output with HDR support, and 4K 60fps HEVC decoder. To this, know that the Raspberry Pi 5 is equipped with 4 or 8 GB of DDR4X SDRAM RAM at 4267 MHz, but models with 2 to 16 GB of RAM are already planned for 2024. You can also count on Wi-Fi 5, B-Band 2.4 and 5 GHz, low power consumption BLE Bluetooth 5.0, a slot for a micro SD card with support for high-speed SDR 104 mode, two USB 3.0, ports supporting simultaneous operation at 5 Gbps on each socket, two USB 2.0 ports, a gigabit Ethernet port with power over Ethernet support, a PCIe 2.0 interface, a proprietary PCI Express 2.0 interface, a 5V5A power supply via USB-C, compatible with power delivery, 40-pin GPIOs in the Raspberry Pi standard, a real-time clock, the famous RTC which will be powered by an optional external battery, and even a power button. Among the new features, let's note for the first time in the history of Raspberry Pi, the arrival of a push button to finally be able to turn on or off your Pi 5, but also on the Horizon 2024, very probably the possibility to put it in sleep mode, and that's pretty cool the arrival of an RTC clock powered by an optional external battery. Also, the arrival of an official ventilated case for the Pi 5 is necessary due to heating issues. Raspberry alerts us that the Pi 5 must be well ventilated and not placed in a closed case without any ventilation. And finally, and it's probably the information that is likely to cause the most ink to flow in this announcement, it's unfortunately the disappearance of the mini jack plug. The P5 skips a crucial element, the headphone jack. But it's actually much more than the headphone jack that we lost. It's also, and especially the audio driver that was integrated into its GPU. This implies that currently, all hats that utilize sound in PWM will no longer be compatible with the Raspberry Pi 5. However, we will provide you with additional information in a later part of the video. So inevitably, after this rather summary presentation, you will have tons of questions to which we will try to answer with as much detail as possible. The Raspberry Pi 5 is expected in France by late October or early November. 
Pre-orders are already available on kubis.com, our partner's website. But be cautious, as the initial stocks are limited and in my view, you might not be able to locate them in stock prior to the Christmas season. If you want it, it's happening now. All links in video description. The basic Raspberry Pi 5 will be equipped with 4 GB of RAM and is announced at a public price of 69 euro, including taxes and around 90 euro for the 8 GB version. We do not have a lot more information at this moment in time regarding the future variations between 2 and 16 GB that are anticipated to be released by the year 2024. This is the question that has been burning on everyone's lips since the beginning. Will Recalbox be compatible with the Pi 5? Well, yes. And even better than that, since we are very proud to announce that Recalbox is already compatible with the Pi 5 in a new beta version of our system that is already available on our website. You will be able to enjoy the best of retro gaming with Recalbox as soon as you receive your card. Regarding accessories, the Raspberry Pi 5 uses the same video cables and the same type of micro SD card as its predecessor. However, the form factor changes slightly again on close inspection, you'll notice that the RJ45 port and USB ports have once again been reversed, returning to their original position from the time of the Raspberry Pi 3. This unfortunately necessitates a case change. Furthermore, we would like to bring to your attention the fact that the Raspberry Pi 5 necessitates a 5A power supply and 25W power delivery compatible power in order to operate correctly and make the most of your USB 3 devices. So avoid reusing the all power supply of the Pi 4, which I remind you, unfortunately only delivers a maximum of 15W. As always, don't forget to browse through the official accessories provided by Raspberry on the kubi.com store, since they are frequently of extremely good quality at a remarkably affordable price. We don't like to announce things without being certain. That's why it's still a little too early to announce any possibility of emulating new consoles like the PlayStation 2, the GameCube, or even the Nintendo Wii with this new card. We sincerely hope that this increase in power will enable us to incorporate new emulators and even introduce new particularly thrilling features. It is not an easy task, but you can rely on us to determine what will be possible with this significant increase in performance. Yet, the Pi 5's boost will undeniably benefit the emulation of PSP, Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, Naomi, Atomus Wave, 3DO, and even Saturn's 3D games, providing a significant enhancement for these gaming platforms. Expect numerous arcade improvements for games that didn't run or ran at reduced speed on Raspberry Pi 4, addressing those that didn't run at full speed. Necessarily, the first question that all the people who participated in the fundraising campaign will ask themselves is whether the Ricklebox RGB JAMA will be compatible with the Pi 5. The answer deserves a little context. The Pi 5, as I was saying earlier, skipped a crucial element, the headphone jack. In reality, as I was saying, it's more than just the headphone jack we lost, it's also the entire audio driver integrated into its GPU. This signifies that at present, all HATs that utilize sound in PWM are fundamentally incompatible with the Raspberry Pi 5. We say, well, for now, as we are discussing with the Raspberry development team, for a specific driver's development, progress is being made, but unfortunately, we still have no idea about the release date for this driver that we've been waiting for. You can imagine this is not enough for us, especially considering the trust you've placed in us in the RGB JAMA project. Our sole objective is to ensure Recarbox RGB JAMA is fully compatible with Pi 5, period. Digital Lamborghini has worked tirelessly on a solution without you needing to wait for a potential hypothetical driver's arrival. Result of the races, at the cost of hundreds of hours of work and an absolutely outrageous coffee budget, we are happy to officially announce that the Recklebox RGB JAMA will be Pi 5 Day 1 compatible, but also that the Pi 5 will benefit from unprecedented sound quality and that the switch will even be automatic depending on whether you connect a Pi 4 or a Pi 5 and there will obviously be no additional cost for contributors, but you can always warmly suggest to Digi to go for a drink, a coffee, if you live in the south of France. More seriously, the only cost is the delivery of the RG Bejama, postponed to December 2023. However, once again, trust us, it is definitely worth it because you will simply achieve compatibility with the new Raspberry Pi 5, which is an incredible upgrade Unfortunately, the RGB Dual will suffer from the same loss in terms of audio, 
and I don't hide from you that it's a big blow for us because unlike the RGB JAMA, where we still have control over it since it is in production, the RGB Dual is already manufactured and is already with you. And to this day, we regret to announce that the RGB Dual is unfortunately not compatible with the Pi 5. We also say for now, because as we told you previously, all our hopes rely on the development of a specific driver by the Raspberry developers. We will naturally keep you updated on the situation as soon as we have more information. However, we will not stop our efforts there. So even if the release of this Raspberry Pi 5 disrupts our communication plan a little bit, and it may be a little early to reveal everything to you, know that we are still very happy to announce that we have been working for many months on the next Recalbox RGB Dual 2, which will of course be compatible with Pi 4 and Pi 5, while adding a lot of original and new features. But as I told you, it's early to talk. We wanted to inform you we haven't forgotten you and we'll share more soon, I promise. Without being a revolution, the Pi 5 remains a very nice evolution of the Pi 4. Should we swap a working Pi 3 or Pi 4 for a Pi 5? The answer is definitely yes, without a doubt. But there is once again a significant gap with the Pi 4 and frankly without any comparison to the Pi 3. The Pi 5 should bring you a huge daily comfort of use. Raspberry is catching up very well and offers a truly interesting solution. Even beyond the retro gaming use linked to Recalbox, the Pi 5 is more than ever in our eyes the all-in-one computer. Here is the presentation of the brand new Raspberry Pi 5. So, tell us everything. Are you going to order it or not in the end? Please share your thoughts in the comments. In any case, we wanted to take this chance to thank you once more for your trust and support. For more updates and exciting announcements, support the Recalbox project on Patreon, on Twitch, to get the maximum benefits and exclusive content. In any case, you will find all the links in the description. Thank you all anyway. Good game and see you soon for new videos. Bye-bye!